Morning. Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Where are we? Heading down from Abu to Central Papos. That's where we're going today. Very early in the morning, by the way, 6.30 if you want the precise time. And we're listening to DJ. That's one of the island-wide local, shall we call it. Not that big an island, is it? But an island-wide radio station. 93.5 DJ always got some good tunes and a nice mix of Euro pop and uh, local culture music and of course international music as well. So pretty early, but there are quite a few people wandering around, builders, perhaps other mechanics and car body shop people, who knows? But there's people always wandering around in Patmos at any time of the day. So anything can happen while you're out in the car. So please drive very, very carefully indeed. Pay the speed limits and of course watch out for the traffic cameras of the boys and girls in blue. Because guess what? They're waiting, especially for you. Now, today is a very, very special day indeed, by the way. Not because the sky is blue and the sea is blue and Mr. Paul's dress head to toe blue. No, there is a girl in downtown Cornwall and today is her birthday. And she is not only a superstar, she is a goddess. And of course, she is the girl of the man known as Duke Phil, Duchess Sharon, a very, very, very happy birthday to you. We wish you a truly spectacularity of a day indeed and I'm pretty sure that Duke Phil will be taking that little bit extra care of you today. If not, you let me know in the comments and we'll fly over and I'll chuck him into the grey 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 sea just off downtown Cornwall. We wish you a fabulous fabulous day and hopefully soon you will be getting on a big bird and coming back to downtown Paphos. When you do, we'll take you hand in hand and do the Chichwachka dance down the downtown Keto Athos Promenade. So have a spectacular of a day indeed, and say a big, big hello to the Duke Phil, and of course to your sister, Lady Julie. And we'll be waiting for you when you come back to downtown Pathos. Here we are, gridlock traffic on the roads in the village of Conia. Everyone wanted to get to the kiosk because they all need a pack of cigarettes or a cigar or perhaps just a can of cold coffee. But what would you want a can of cold coffee for? That's what I would want to know because we are going to head now past the General Hospital up towards Masoy through Anabargos and we're going to the Atlas Coffee Shop because that is the best coffee in the world. Well, certainly in downtown Atlas. So sit back and relax and enjoy the drive. We've got uh, Ignatians in the road here, there you go, not too bad. Have you worked out what car Mr. Paul's in by the way? Do you know what it is? There was a gentleman the other day that recognised the engine sound as a Honda, so he was correct. And of course it is a little Honda Jazz, which probably is the best car in the world. And I mean that truly and sincerely. Not only is it the most reliable car in the world, but it does everything that it does unbelievably well. And this is one of the cars that I am going to review when Mr. Paul on Cars starts up. That will be one of the new YouTube channels coming very, very soon indeed. And this is one of the cars that I will be reviewing. And the other day, I actually had three Honda Jazzes in at the same time, all different generations. This one, which is the Mark 1, this one is the one that I bought. We also had a Customers Mark 2 and a Customers Mark 3. And you know what? I'm not saying the Mark 3 is a bad car, I'm not saying the Mark 2 is a bad car, but the Mark 1 is a good car. And I mean head and shoulders above. It is an exceptional car. It's a car where Honda rewrote the rule book if you wanted a little run around hatchback car. And even what is this kind of 18 years later? Yeah, you heard me correctly. 18 years later, this car is better than the brand new version. And very, very reliable indeed, by the way. So don't fear if you're buying a second hand Honda or a Toyota. 
or a Nissan or a Kia. I'm thinking of reliable cars or a Hyundai. But uh, as for the rest of them, well, stay away from them. Don't buy a Jaguar. Only joking. So, good luck traffic, even at this time of day. And we've got a van on the left-hand side that's cutting down trees, which is making it a little bit more awkward. So we're going to stick our nose out. Yep, luckily nothing's coming. So we're off up the worst road in the world. Well, certainly the worst road in Patmos anyway. There's potholes, inundations, whatever you want to call them, absolutely everywhere. When you dive to the left or the right to miss one, like cars, for example, you then hit into another one shall we say and as you can see the traffic is still pretty heavy because everyone's rushing to work and of course this is one of the main feeder roads from out of Argos, Asoy and of course even further afield like to Sada and all those kind of places. On the note of to Sada I'd like to say a big big shout out to a gentleman who at the moment is in his pathos on, uh, on his own he's organising the move and of course that is our Sir Analdo. Thank you very, very much for allowing us to come up and give you that little bit of a helping hand and wandering around your spectacality of a villa indeed. And of course, he'll be jetting back to the south of France, grabbing the hand of his girl, Lady Sylvie, and of course, his mum and his daughter are jetting back into Paphos very, very soon indeed. And we wish you a safe flight and a very, very speedy return. And Aldo, you are a star. Thanks for being our friend, and we'll look forward to seeing you again very, very soon indeed. You fancy a bit of DIY? Well, there you go, that's the Home Market, one of the biggest DIY shops that dibbles and dabbles in just about everything from furniture to umbrellas to seats to wood to timber, you name it, they sell it if it's to do with your house. That's for sure. Need dibble and dabble in the odd bits and bobs for cars as well. So if you want a car cover, some polish, a polisher, those kind of things, that could be the place for you. International School of Paphos over there on the right hand side. Currently closed, which is good because otherwise that causes even more traffic jams. So just Paphos is, uh, well, I would say it's at its limit with cars at certain times of the day. And as I warned you before, when you're driving around, Please, please be careful because we've got eight little camera vans, yes, you heard me correctly, eight little shots parked up here and there taking pictures of us. And uh, they're not trying to catch us in their bikinis or in our boxer shorts, you no, know, they're trying to catch us speeding or talking on a mobile phone or, well, whatever. Doing naughty things in cars like making YouTube videos. So when you drive around, please, please be very careful and try and stick to the speed limit. Predominantly 50 kilometres an hour, but they are. Not as generous as they used to be, but still fairly generous. So 60 kilometres an hour before you get zapped. You fancy a coffee? Drive through? There you go. Cafe Me. Not a bad coffee, but not my favourite coffee. I've been there quite a few times. Your internet's not too bad either. You can get quite a nice breeze because they open up all the glazing. But the best place, especially in the morning, to go for coffee has got to be the Atlas Coffee Shop right at the top of the soil. So that's where we're going. So sit back and relax. You're in the car with Mr. Paul, listening to his nutterisms, listening to his rambles. But one or two of you do like to come and join in the fun now and again. Perhaps if your name is Sir Daniel. Big, big Cali, Cali Mera to you. If you're Lord of the Jake, a big, big Cali Mera to you. And of course, Sir Brian in downtown Yorkshire. Not sure if he's in Yorkshire or in Cyprus at the moment. He flips and flops to the both islands, the island of the dampness and, of course, the island of the sunshine. Looking forward to seeing you again very, very soon indeed. So drop in the comments, where are you guys? Mr. Paul is feeling that little bit low. How's those boys in downtown Dab Cardiff doing? Baron Jeremy, Baron Simon. Because they'll be coming back to Patfoss sooner than they think, 16th of November. Yes, that date is memorised. But again, I'd like to thank those two gentlemen for jetting in to keep Mr. Paul company when Marika was away on her travels, seeing her family and sorting out some bits and bobs. So thank you very much, Baron Jeremy, Baron Simon. It was a pleasure to see you again. So I'm looking forward to seeing you in November, on November the 16th. You see, that date is memorised. And not only have I memorised it, on top of that, the woman knows Miss Hodging was seen in a booth has memorised it as well. So you guys could 
be in big, big trouble. I hope not, but uh, keep keep going with the share trading, and I'm pretty sure that you'll make a couple of bob, and then it won't be too bad. We've arrived at the Atlas Coffee Shop. Here it is. Nice raised platform, nice decking area. So in the well, winter months, because I understand you think I'm nuts now, but in the summer months, it's too hot to sit outside. But uh, in the winter months, it's not too bad. Although, as I've said, it's now 15 minutes to, well, 20 minutes to seven. Not a lot going on, is there? Although, they normally have three delivery cars, and all three of those cars are out. So that's a good sign, isn't it? So I'm gonna pop in there, and I'm gonna chill out for five, 10 minutes, and have my nice hot latte. And I'm going to say thank you very, very much to Sue the David and, of course, Lady of the Deborah, who are coming to Pat Force very, very soon indeed. I'd like to thank you very, very much for joining us as a superstar member on the Buy Me Coffee platform. It means an awful lot to us, and we're looking forward to seeing you when you land in downtown Pat Force. If you like what you see, smash the like, smash that subscribe button. Please don't forget to keep on coming back. Allow a little bit more of my complete and utter madness. And please don't forget to go and hunt us down on the Buy Me a Coffee platform and perhaps gift us that virtual coffee or two. Or, as Deborah and David had just done, join us as a superstar member starting off at only €10 Euros a month. Big shout out to some of our other members. If your name is Baroness Lillian, and of course, there's a Baron Frank in your life. We thank you very, very much for the time that you spent with us when you were on the island of love. And we're looking forward to seeing you again very, very soon indeed. Thanks for watching, and I will look forward to your company again very, very soon indeed. Now, let's go and get a big boy, and let's go and get a hot latte coffee.